this fake fucking shit come in and give your stupid fucking opinions instead of just pretending like i'm so sick of this garbage i know he's not I've here anymore but heard of any legislation before what can you, can you yeah, listen me listen to you little shit look you don't know what the fuck you're talking about here you're all your jesus christ yeah totally lost i, I thought i just want to call him a little shit That's just to name a few. What states are supporting conversion therapy? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I know Mike Pence, though. He's a big, he is a big. Oh, yeah. Of, exactly. Oh, he did in the yeah, past, so right? Therapy. Like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. And the other day on the debate, he did again. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Well, that is that forcing heterosexuality on kids, though, I guess, or. Yes, literally. That's so, literally so, okay, what okay, yeah, yeah. But one, is. okay. Let's say one person is doing that. That's that. I can agree that that's bad. Yeah, but is the like? Are you thinking the one vast majority? Huh? Not a bad person, but no, like the fact that it's available in the first place. Oh yeah, that's bad. Right. Yeah, conversion therapy yeah. is weird. It shouldn't be pushed. Yeah, but do you think that's what's act like? Do you think that's what's happening by and large? That they're trying to erase the LGBT. Like I said. What? Like I said. Um. Part of it like there are other other examples of society being like pushing children towards heterosexuality which is what the fact that you know like straight people don't have to come <laughs> out as straight right like I, I like we don't have to make a big announcement that you're straight everybody just kind of assumes it and depending on the family and your situation and the culture that you're raised in like mm -hmm. you're the people around you may or may not have a good um positive reaction to that and it could be detrimental to a person that's part of the queer community coming out yeah i, I suppose i can agree that people should just be accepting of, of like who you are regardless you know i mean right but, but not I, everybody is no right. i don't think you'll ever get that i think and i think if you expect that you're i i, th I think it's a you're already losing no, should we not fight that. no as you should right, you should fight but that. i think you should fight but i so think that right because we're there's people are making anti-LGBTQ laws against us, which is why we are fighting and why we are trying to get society or even if the people, the, you know, the small amount of people that we do affect on here, the 800 people in this room, maybe they'll apply that to their lives, that they'll stop pushing that heterosexual norm onto children. Um, Expecting, you know, to have kids so that we have grandkids later. Like, that's a part of it too. Like, we shouldn't be having children because we're expecting them to give us something give us grandchildren wild well I, I guess the, the question would be how do you expect the human race to to, to continue <laughs> trans people can reproduce i'm not straight and i have three kids oh so, yeah. well what i'm saying is is yeah okay the okay <laughs> but like I'm i mean the, the the way the way that the human listen, species listen, wait, listen yeah i'm not I'm I'm not under the belief that straight people are going to go away. Like the human race will go on no matter what. Even if everybody was gay or part of LGBTQ, we would still find a way to reproduce. That's how the human race works. Yeah, yeah but but what's happening? It's it's sad that we're pushing these heterosexual cisgender norms on our children when not everybody falls under those boxes. Yeah, but yeah. This seems like a weird, I mean, <clears throat> sorry, not weird, but like the, the human race procreates by a, a male and a female, uh, you know, having, having children. That's just how it cool. goes. It's not, it's not to say that other okay. things can't exist, but I mean, I think, I think it's a bit extreme to say that heteronormativity or whatever is being pushed. Like, no, it's just how, it how literally is constantly everywhere. Well, that's can I just address the media? Can I address the procreation thing? Yeah, sure. Like, go ahead. People always go, well, well, if, if no heterosexual people existed, our human race would die out. Like, uh, let's be reasonable. Okay. Yes. Let's if be reasonable. Sure. So if everybody on earth was gay or was homosexual, don't you think we would still have an incentive to live on? We would just change how sex is even approached. We would not look at it as a joyous uh, sharing of partnership. We would look at it as a necessity to uh, to continue our race. People would continue to do it in spite of the fact that they don't want to. 
That sounds that sounds like the saddest possible alternative reality. You yeah, you want to so you want to remove joy? So what? What do you mean? So what? Sad. It also will never fucking happen. So why even? Why does anyone ever fucking bring it up? Yeah, I don't. I'm not in any kind of understanding, or like, nobody thinks that that's gonna happen. Well, you're presenting it as like what? Uh, well, I mean, uh, okay. If then, why are we do talking you understand? about? That? Because I'm talking about the damage LGBTQ children that, and, and I take that back. The damage in general because i'm also talking about heterosexual like norms as far as what heterosexual people are supposed to look like right like boys wearing boy clothes girls wearing girl clothes like we need to stop doing that to our children as a whole we need to stop placing these expectations that they're going to fit into this heterosexual box that's what i'm talking about here because it's damaging to children how is it damaging can you tell me what damage is being caused to children yeah. Sure. Yeah. I spent my life, my whole entire life, not understanding my my true identity because I was taught that anything other than straight heterosexual was not normal. It was not okay. I needed to fix it. I needed to make it right. I was told that. And I was it wasn't until I was an adult until I understand that I am a queer person and that's perfectly okay and normal and accepting. And I deserve rights too. Yeah, no one. Okay, okay yeah, yeah I can agree. I can agree that everyone deserves rights. And I, as of right now, um, I mean, mo I, I would say that everyone has these rights to, to, to be who you want to be. There are certain obstacles, I think, in the way based on public opinion, I think, based on religion, uh, people think certain so, ways. But I, but as far as in the eyes of the government, like you, like no. you, me, we all share, we all share these rights. No, we don't. We, then explain how you don't. Uh, Please, sorry. Almost 600 bills now, currently? Yep, almost 600. 600 anti-LGBTQ bills. Okay, approximately 100 have passed. All and right. 100 have passed into the law across Wait. the US. And what were those? What was? Uh, can you can you just tell me about one of them um, that that I, that I'm not aware of? I, I don't I don't I'm not aware of a bill that's anti LGBTQ. You're not aware of any. No, that's why I'm asking. That's why I'm asking. I would like to know where it's from I and what it says. Right to gender affirming care in many states. I'm sorry. Eighteen states have tried to ban gender affirming care in one form or another. Um. So, and again, what can you define? What is gender affirming care that they're banning? Uh, it can be access to therapy, access to uh, to hormones, um, access to puberty blockers. Okay. They're they're banning the advice of medical professionals who do this for a living. That's what they're banning. Do we know what the overall the long lasting effects are of these hormones yes. on children? Yes. Yes. So I'm yes. I'm going to be honest. Based on the response of people in chat when you joined. These are not questions yeah. you have not asked before. You know no, the no, I don't know them. I'm asking the specific, you. The specific order of questions and the very, you know, repetitive, like every other conversation of people coming in here saying, I'm just trying to learn. And then they go down this, like, do we know? Well, you either, yes. you either want to help educate yes. people or you don't. I'm asking these questions because I am the, curious. The point is, is I don't want to, listen, I don't want to waste my time on somebody who already has an opinion. So why don't you just tell us your contention and your opinion? You're not, I don't believe that you're here just trying to learn. I think that you have an opinion and you're trying to go down this route of like some gotcha moment. No, so that's what I think you're doing. No, I'm, I'm trying to have an, I'm trying to have an adult conversation. Have you with had these conversations with other people before? Well, yeah, of course I've talked about this with other people because I, I think that it does affect, I think it affects people, kids, adults all equally. Right. So how does it affect? You. So how do these anti-LGBTQ laws affect you? Uh, because I'm concerned about I'm I'm concerned about the next generation. I'm concerned that okay. perhaps we don't have all the information on gender affirming care. There, how? How look, didn't didn't yeah, the, wait, how so long has it been happening? Me... Wait, 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 wait. One at a so, time, first of all. Let me let, let, hold on. Let, let me just finish my no, my no, question. No, I want to make sure you're you're coming in here about trans kids is that what i gather well i'm i'm a well i'm i'm 
I'm a, uh, sorry. I'm, let, me, let me organize my thought. Yeah, I, I guess to some regard, yes, but also okay, the opposite effect. Do you have kids? Yes, I have children. I, just, I haven't heard of okay, any. Great. So, yeah, Adora, go ahead. You can take this. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. So that's what you're focused on. You're concerned about the about hormone therapy. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I guess I'm. Therapy? Yeah. Well, uh, here, here. Let we me. Do have those studies? I, I'm. I guess what I'm worried about is the the long lasting effects that that gender affirming care as a whole could have on children. Yeah. Um, okay. That's yeah. what I was going to say. The long lasting effect is that the continue, the kids continue to be alive. Well, yeah, but wow, how do you imagine so, that? No, uh, okay. Um, but what I guess what data has spanned over like twenty years? I guess like like where you have to, you have to start thinking decades, not just the 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 following couple years. So does do you know what I mean? Wait, sure. We're always going to continue to do studies, but the studies that we have right now, which are not exactly new, um, are. Uh, Absolutely, one hundred percent validates gender affirming care and trans people. One hundred percent, nothing's one hundred percent. We have no studies whatsoever that show that gender affirming care is harmful. None right. at all. We have studies that show. I mean, that, I mean, if that's the that case, great. Gender, but excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I'm we sorry. Have, we have studies that show whose phone is that? What the fuck? I'm sorry, my 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 phone occasionally gets text messages. I don't know if your guys' phone does. My 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 fault. Your your phone occasionally gets text messages. Yeah, you know it's on it's on vibrate. Sorry. Here, okay, I'll we'll turn it off because it's annoying. Um, we have studies that show that gender affirming care for people with gender dysphoria dramatically decreases the chances of them self unaliving. That's what we have, and that's the medical consensus, and that's what we like to stick with right now. And if you have studies that show otherwise, we'd be glad to hear them. Well, what about, what about, um, I mean, I've seen, I've seen lots of, uh, let's say several, um, detransitioner stories about, you know, the, gen the, the gender, several. am I allowed to finish my thought sure. or only you guys? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Finish it. Okay. But Thank you. Um, I don't really care about your several people. So, th so those people's lives are not important, but just the people who affirm not your belief. Said. Is that correct? Not what I said. Okay. Well, then what's, then, Wait, Chad, then. How many? How many people? Wait, 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 Shag. You're concerned about those people. I am concerned too. Yeah, right. absolutely. How many people detransition because they're not really trans? How many people does that happen to? Well, I've uh, I've seen probably a dozen that I've focused on, but no, like I don't. There's a number. There is a number. Of oh, I don't know the exact number. Sorry. Detransition. Yeah, right. I don't know the number. So it sorry. That you're concerned about people that you don't even know how many people make up that number. Well, so I'll tell you. But isn't so isn't one isn't one life is, too many? I've, I mean, it is for, holy right, shit. <laughs> sure. So those people, yeah, they deserve support. I absolutely yeah. agree with that. Okay. They deserve support. They deserve medical care. But that does not take away from the rest of the people, the 99.6% people that gender affirming care does work for. It doesn't negate that. So, yes, they deserve care. We deserve to recognize them. But it's more important to understand why do people do, why do the majority of people do transition? Do you know why? Because they, well, from the cases that I've seen, that they felt that, like, time is what they needed, and they eventually found that it wasn't sure. necessarily. So, right. Like I said, the 0.4% of people that, that detransition de is because they're not really trans. The other people detransition because they don't have the money, because they don't have the support in their life to keep that transition. They have pressures of Society, they have lack of health care. All of those reasons are reasons of the majority of people why they're detransitioning. It it sounds well. I mean, it, it sounds like you're being as dismissive as me of these of these individuals when it comes to because again, I don't. I I, I personally Who did don't I dismiss. Excuse me. Who did I dismiss? <clears throat> it sounds like like to me. I I agree. That people should have the care that they need. I just who uh, did I dismiss? You said that I dismissed somebody. Who did I dismiss? So you're, you're so you're saying even if so if your number is right that 0.4 percent detransition that it doesn't really matter because the vast majority is what is needed. That's not what I said. Okay. Nope. 
Okay. That's not what I said. I said that they deserve care. They yeah. deserve support. They deserve their health care. But it does not change what does actually help the other 99.6% of trans people who experience gender dysphoria and deserve gender affirming care. So treatment. again, I, th my concern I is, my concern is, is that number is over a very small timeline. I would like to see the numbers over 20 to 30 years uh, because that is more You didn't even know the number. What? You didn't even know the number. No, I, well, what, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is, is I would like you to know that number or, and, and, and of course I would like to know these numbers too, because Again, this I because I think this affects people over a much longer timeline than than a, yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, the that we continue to be alive. That that has nothing. You cannot put that on people that because we say a certain Bet. thing or whatever that. Bet. No, that that's just not how it goes. <laughs> bet. Bet what? What does what does bet mean? We know what the uh, self unaliving ideation numbers are, and we know that gender affirming care drops it by seventy percent. Yeah. It, Listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not pretending that gender affirming care is good for some. My, my, my objection with it at time. times, <clears throat> my objection with it at times is that it's done. Your objection is based on fucking nothing. Great. Let's do some more studies. I'm all for that. 100%. Let's fund all the studies for transgender people. For real. Let's do it. More studies. Yeah. No, that, that's what I'm saying is, is like when, you know, if you hear a case of, of a of a of a child, you know, going being on hormone replacement therapy, you know, during or before puberty, uh, puberty blockers like this, yeah. this stuff. You, you don't. No, 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 no. It's not how it works. You don't go on hormone replacement therapy before puberty. That's not how it works. No. no okay. So okay, but I but I did correct myself and said decades, and then decades. I said puberty blockers. So you would. So you also can't puberty blockers before puberty. That makes no sense. Right. So you can't. Bl okay, so okay, Joe. Dur okay, during. But you can't. You can't go through puberty, is what I'm saying. That's the point. So in my <laughs> yes, but in my opinion, that's in my opinion, that's not good. I think I think you need to develop Why? your because yeah, your body is still going through gonna, massive changes during that time. That Why are they, no, they stop? Why are transgender children getting puberty blockers? Why? Why are they? Because doctors are allowing it and because they think that why? they... Why are they prescribed? Why are they prescribed? Because they feel that they are not the gender that they were assigned at birth. No. Why are the puberty blockers prescribed? To stop puberty? What is it called? They're prescribed this type of gender-affirming care. I, I, I treat very specific. Apparently, I don't know the exact term. I thought puberty blockers were to, to, to pause puberty or to stop puberty. You don't, you don't pause puberty. It's to pause puberty. Oh, so you can just you can just start it's, up again. Yes, it's when you stop taking it, it puberty begins again. But the point is, it's treatment is what Mel was trying to say. It it relieves the stress that they are experiencing. Do you think because of gender? Well, it's and I guess that's where we differ. I think that the stress of the stress of puberty is something that people need to experience in order to develop properly. No, like, no, well, no. Why? No, because you're. Oh my God, puberty is what's causing the distress, right? A child gets gender dysphoria. There's no, there's no getting around puberty, though. We're not Do saying that to puberty. What? It's temporary. To relieve symptoms. Well, and again, like, so we haven't been pausing puberty for the last 20 years. There's no possible way we could yes, know what that yeah, means for an adult. 50 years. 50 years. Even if you, even if I were to believe that puberty is just paused and it's not like essentially gone from. Why would you just not believe this? So because I can't, I can't possibly blindly believe that is, messing with or, nature is, is something that comes know, without stop, consequences. Stop. That's where you're wrong. It's right. not blind. That's why I don't like doing these fake fucking conversations. It's not fake. It's you just don't seem to be well equipped to, to, to talk about it. Hello. There's fucking well medical evidence of this stuff. Where do you even know where puberty blockers? Who did we start using puberty blockers for? 
for rapists, weren't they chemically castrating these these uh? Oh my god! These uh these rapists. What's that? Have a great why fucking day. Why were they made in, they made wow. in the first place? I'm done with that. I can't. This fake fucking shit. Come in and give your stupid fucking opinions instead of just pretending. Like, I'm so sick of this garbage. I know he's not I've here never anymore. I've heard but... of any legislation before. What? Can you, can you yeah, tell listen, me what? Listen to you little shit. Look, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Here. You're all your... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Totally lost I, I thought. I just want to call him a little shit. You're a little shit. <laughs> he's still listening. He's still listening. I, I love I love when they're so concerned about the one or two detransitioners that they're aware of, but they don't care about the ninety nine point six percent of uh, of transgender people. Imagine, imagine for a moment, chat, that you. I just I muted that because I I don't I don't want to hear what's going on. The, these people are so soft. They could. So this this is me actually saying I want to know more about this thing. Please educate me on all of this stuff. Please educate me because I don't know. I don't know everything there is to know about it. It was extremely difficult to get any, any sort of point out, like almost impossible. Almost impossible. I couldn't do it because I had my phone hooked up to my soundboard. I couldn't, I, I wouldn't have been able to bring, bring you in. Like these, the, these people, they, they can say whatever they want about about like them having the data 99% of of people who have gender affirming care like the uh the suicidality rates go down um I, you know i'm sure it goes down a little bit there's there's no doubt in my mind that because they you know they get some sort of care that 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 this the that there would be some positive effect i don't believe for one second that over the 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 lifetime of of this child, young adult, that that it's always positive. And these one or two detransitioners, I know there's, I know that within the trans community there is a hate for detransitioners in some respect because they feel like, oh, well, you're not really trans. Again, just being dismissive of someone's like own journey, like. We will we'll respect you, but only the people that we want to respect and that that we consider uh, to be real trans. Like I, I just find these people on some on some level to be really despicable, like really despicable. They don't they don't care they don't care about educating anyone. If they if these people really believed that they were doing some sort of good work and. And helping people understand like where they're coming from, they wouldn't act the way they act. They wouldn't need to do a 3v1 on their dissenters. And then and then name calling and all that crap. Like it's it's insane. Oh, you've talked about this stuff before. Yeah. I would assume I would think that a lot of people who are joining on on TikToks are have have already engaged in this conversation before they want to know a little bit more information uh and they and they want to sort of work out their ideas what that was what that is is pure 100 percent indoctrination it is it is three people let me see no sorry four people on a live that there's four people on a live that want to that want to influence people to just just everything I say to you, you have to believe. This is exactly what, what it is. There's no questioning in it. If you do question it, you're a bigot. That's, that's the problem. 